And we are also now recording live. So this is my disclaimer, letting everyone know we are recording this Zoom meeting for training and quality assurance and content purposes. Welcome everyone. I'll put a note in the chat that uh, this is being recorded. Uh, the recording will be available um, after, after this, once it's processed and everything. So be sure to request that and be sure to sign in so we know to send you the recording afterwards. And with that, you ready to start, Daylon? I am ready to start. Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, Real Estate Friday, Daylon Rubito. Daylon, what, what do we have today for Real Estate Friday? Hi, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to Real Estate Friday. I hope it's having, everyone is having a great day so far and is looking forward to the weekend. So today for Real Estate Friday, we come to you live every Friday at 1 p.m. So thank you so much for joining us and staying engaged with us every single Friday for a real estate session. So today we're going to be talking about 17 ways to find listings. And guess what? With zero prospecting. And we're going to show you exactly how. But we're not going to do the whole 17 um, ideas because it will be too long. But I have five that I'm going to share with you today. And if you stay all the way to the end, I'm going to share that with you. And I'll send it to you via email so you can have those 17 ideas and you can kind of like go through it and kind of implement it. But the idea with this is for you to tap the overlooked niches in your market for more listings. And you heard it right with no prospecting needed. So I'm going to try to show you that and do the best way I can. And just to give you a little backstory on how this was put together, this, this has been put together for years and years of trying different prospecting ideas. Um, I came up or I wrote out a huge list of different ways that I could get listings without any prospecting. And as you know, we're always, as real estate agents, have to be prospecting. I'm big on, on making sure that we're prospecting 24-7. Okay, we have to as real estate agents, but let's be honest. In this list that you're going to see, there's going to be a lot of wild, crazy ideas. And, and one night, I just sat down and started putting a bunch of stuff, throwing in a notepad. Now, some of the things that I had written uh, were pretty, some were pretty embarrassing, some were awesome. And reviewing it, I even came up with a few more ideas but I've listed the best ideas that I came up with for you and I will share them with you today and all the things I'm gonna send them to you. So they fall into two categories and you will see that. They, the two categories are ideas that turn out to be winners that I'm still using to this day and ideas that have yet to implement, but I suspect that they have a good chance of being successful. You may agree with or already implemented some of those or all of the ideas I'm gonna share with you or all listing opportunities that I have identified here, but I can guarantee it, okay? I cannot guarantee it. They may feel some, some of them are ridiculous or too much work. Some of these approaches may not be your style. Either way, it's up to you to determine that or what will and will not work for you individually. So you must take these ideas from seed to fruit in your business. Nobody can do that for you. Only you can do that. So what, I'm, what I can do is make the following guarantee. When you take a step back from chasing business, from cold calling and prospecting to reframe your perspective, you will always reap the benefit. So think about it this way. Think of a, a late night TV commercial asking, are you having trouble sleeping? <laughs> at best they can only assume that you are because it's late right you can't sleep imagine how much more effective their marketing would be if they could specifically target only people who had already searched for sleep remedies or visited a specialist about their sleeping troubles right it would be a lot better marketing for real estate leads works kind of like the same way the more focused and fine tune your targeting is, the more effective it will be. So let's go ahead and let's go over the following five ideas that I'm gonna give you today. These ideas, I use them over and over again, I have implemented and we go way back. So this is my five idea, I'll share the rest with you and I'll send them to you. So idea number one, go back in the MLS 
and find old expired other agents missed. Now we're talking about expired uh, listings. So go back into the MLS and find old expires, other agents missed. Now this one is the, the least contested niches that you'll come across. While everyone is chasing new expiry leads, right, left, center, old expires are much less prospected groups of sellers. Very few agents are interested in them. Think about it. And you know what that means for you. Motivated sellers looking for the right realtor. So start looking for homes that were listed, I would say three to six months ago and go as far back as four or five years to find old expires who might be already get, who might be ready to get back in the market and finally sell their homes with the help of a realtor. Now market conditions have likely improved, right? Since this homeowners last tried to list and they're more likely to get their asking price. Think about it, especially in Miami, everything has gone up, there's a, there's a high demand. So the chances of that now selling are even higher. So go back to the MLS and search for uh, old expires that agents have missed. Idea number two, create, create a unique marketing proposition, specifically targeting expires. Create a unique marketing proposition, specifically targeting expires. Now expire listings are a staple of real estate. And to win these uh, leads that every agent seems to be going after, you have to stop trying to win them over by bashing the last agent. Do not go in with a typical, your home was priced too high either. That just annoys owners. So you're the agent, getting the home sold is your job. So give them a reason to want to work with you, sell yourself. And here are a few ways that you can market yourself to expires in a unique way. So here's some ideas on how to sell yourself in a unique way to expires. Put together a case study portfolio. And when you do that, uh, highlighting specific instances where you were able to sell a home another agent couldn't. Explain why, tell the story. You can even put that together in a video. Okay, this is just idea, sky's the limit, just be creative with them. Number two, offer a, com a comprehensive market analysis. Show the owners what you would do to sell their homes without demanding a drop-in price or uh, lay out uh, the avenues your company uses to market these listings, okay? Put a comprehensive market analysis in front of them and show them how you can accomplish this. The other one is review the home, property, location, surrounding areas. And, and when you do this, look for uh, unique features that you can bring to focus. Look for anything big or small that, that, that would catch a buyer's interest from a pool to a school or even an amazing, uh, an amazing sunset, sunset view. For example, I'm gonna use um, Alexander. He's in the chat in, in the, um, the Zoom here with us. He put, uh, he got a listing and the highlight of the listing was uh, you remember what it was, Alexander, right? It was the backyard. From the backyard, I, if I'm not mistaken, you could see the sunset. It was a beautiful lake right in front of it. And it had a beautiful pool. So that was the highlight of the listing. And when we met, that's one of the things we talked about. What, what's going to stand out from your listing? And it's going to be that, right? It's going to be some something specific about the property. So review the home, the property, location, surrounding areas, and highlight what, what's going to sell the house. And lastly, offer a pre-listing review. Think, a, think like a, a basic home valuation, only more in depth. And walk through the house thinking like an inspector. Note the condition of the rooms, make a short report highlighting improvement that will make the home more attractive to the buyers. You're the expert. All right, let's go to idea number three. Build a testimonial package to use with expires. Idea number three, build a testimonial package to use with expires. Now, why testimonials? It's simple. They have the power to make or break a deal. There are the uh, reassurance that goes the extra mile in affirming everything you say and promise to an owner. 
agents with, let's say, 10 or more reviews see a 300% increase in listings over agents with no reviews. So, and according actually to placer.com, 85% uh, of all consumers use reviews to decide on purchases. Think about yourself when you're gonna go to like a restaurant and, and or an area that you're in and, and you feel like eating something or visiting a place, you always look at the reviews, right? And that's now the place to go. If it has good reviews, chances are it's gonna be an amazing place. People trust peers' recommendations six times more than a traditional ad. These are the difference makers. But for your testimonials to be effective, they have to be high quality. If you're not, your clients could easily doubt you. So let your best testimonial seal the deal for you by adding them into your listing presentation, both at the beginning and at the end. And this will win over anyone who is someone hesitant about listing with you, especially homeowners who have had poor experiences in the past. Now, idea number five. Build, I'm sorry, number four. Build a marketing package that delivers an instant benefit to for sale by owners. Build a marketing package that delivers an instant benefit to for sale by owners. Now, for sale by owners are another low hanging fruit opportunity. Statistically, over 90% of feasibles, they ultimately turn to an agent to sell their home. But if you go and beating them over the head with stats, chances are you start a fight with them. So instead, find a way to help. And that's the key word here, help. The number one disadvantage owners uh, selling feasibles have is inadequate marketing. So as realtors, you and I both know how crucial good marketing is to attracting the right buyers. So why not offer a basic started package for, for sale uh, or feasible sellers? Offer to take professional level pictures of the home and give them no strings attached. Just tell the feasible that you're offering a free sample of what you can do to sell their home. And if they like what they see, they can consider listing with you. If not, you're happy to help them out and will love any referrals that they have in the future. So this is a great way to even build that relationship with somebody that you, you, have, you don't know yet. So if you really wanna sweeten the, the pot, have an assistant or a freelancer give your pictures a once over um, with Photoshop or a similar image enhancing tool. You'll score huge brownie points with them while um, positioning yourself to have an edge when they decide to list. So speaking of photography, you should make a, a big deal about that with all homeowners, expires for sale by owners, whoever is thinking of selling with you, Talk about pictures and make a big deal about it with all of them. It's very inexpensive to have a little touch up done and the payback uh, from better pictures is a proven outcome. And the other thing I wanted to talk to you, and this is the last uh, idea and going back to expires is go back. At the beginning I said, go back old expires, but how about if you do this also and implement this one? If you're able to see when a listing is about to expire, why don't you contact the, the listing agent and offer them that you would like to do a walkthrough uh, showing of the property, that you wanna go in and record the entire property. The idea with this is two ways of winning this. Number one, if for some reason you cannot, uh, the listing agent was not able to list the property, guess who has all the pictures walk through video and it's, it's positioned in a better way when it comes to the marketing point. It's you, right? So the chances are, or the listing agent is letting you go through the house, showing the property or doing a video tour of the property. It's awesome because now you have something to showcase your, your, um, your buyers. But if the house expired, if that listing never gets renewed, now you have all this footage with you that you can put together a presentation and present it to the seller. And guess who knows the property well? You are. So you can even put that together and this is just uh, an idea thinking outside the box. Now the point is, is you gotta make these strategies work for you. One thing that I have learned in, in 17 plus years of selling real estate is that 
the more focused you are, the more effective your marketing can be. You got to find a niche that works for you. Then do something different. That alone will help you win listings because your actions capture the owner's attention. Now, I'm not talking about cheesy gimmicks, but real unique differences. The niches that I, that I talked to you uh, today, they by no means every listing opportunity out there. Okay, it, it doesn't help with everything, but you got to find new places to look, new ways to look at the old places. It's the only way to stand out from the crowd. Do that and you will get more listings. Um, who, who's the one that said, um, Ben Franklin summed it up nicely in his autobiography when he said, never confuse motion with action. So whether, whether it was a, a huge eye opener for you or just an affirmation of something that you have already discovered. What matters is that the action that you take today going forward, okay, it's that action that you take today, that make that commitment that you decide right now. So I'd love to hear about some ideas that you are going to put into action for your business. Um, I, I encourage you to drop a comment or share your thoughts uh, with me in the next few days, or once you get the, the full list of ideas that I put together, Go over it. I would love to hear your feedback. Let me know if, if you're using any of them um, or if you have some of them that are not in that list and perhaps you want to share with us. So I would love to hear some ideas that you guys may have. So uh, stay tuned for that email. I'll share the, the 17 ideas with you and any feedback is welcome. With that said, that's it, that's it for uh, Real Estate Friday. We have um, a wonderful week next week ahead of us starting with mindset monday uh, also we're planning to put something together with the agents and we're going to have uh, some guest speaker like for example Marta Pozo. Um, i'm trying to put something together with her a presentation on um, closing disclosures and the closing process and putting everything together so i'm gonna we're gonna let you guys know when to do that and most likely it's gonna be next thursday so we're gonna have a broken nation presentation along with um, uh, a guest speaker with the, which it will be my taposo. Now this presentation is gonna be in person, but we're also gonna do it in Zoom. So we're gonna let you know, we'll put it together. And next Friday, we're gonna have a guest speaker as well joining us. So stay tuned for that. And we'll give you more information on Monday for Mindset Monday. So if you haven't registered for Mindset Monday, go to, where do you go, Steve? To register for Mindset Monday. www.brokernation.events. Excellent. I'll put Guess that what? in the chat. When you go there, it's not only Mindset Monday or Real Estate Friday. Keep up with all the all the trainings, upcoming events that we have. Just go to www.brokernation.events and stay engaged with everything that we're doing as a company to help you become better agents. So I hope you guys found that very helpful. Um, Steve, anything else you want to add? Uh, no. Uh, did everybody see the uh, video, our, our Daylon's uh, comedy video, the, the latest comedy duet, yeah. Armand, Armando and Daylon? If you haven't, check it on Facebook or uh, reach out and Daylon will send you a link to it. Absolutely. If you haven't seen it, let's, Steve, how about this? We share it again. And so they can have it, so they can repost it. The, uh, so, you know, it, it's, it was really funny. It was really nice. And, and it was a lot of checks, too. <laughs> and the point of the matter is, right, watch what happens when uh, Armando tries to sign 80 checks in uh, less than two minutes. So uh, okay. it's, a, it's, a, it's a good video. We'll drop the link to you guys uh, in the follow-up email, I guess. And uh, we had fun with that. Make sure you like it and share it. Awesome. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you so much for, for, for tuning in with us today for Real Estate Friday. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day, an amazing weekend. I'll see you guys on Monday. Take care, everybody. See you later, Daylon. See you later, Jonathan. Bye, guys. Bye.